Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you a tip that I think is incredibly helpful when you are traveling to Disney with small children because as exciting and fun as it is taking your toddler or baby or just young child in general to Disney World, it can be a challenge and there are definitely times where they have a meltdown. Disney is very overstimulating and it is easy for us to wear ourselves down as well as our children because we kind of want to do and see it all. It can be a lot and the days can kind of get a little bit crazy. So I would definitely recommend taking a break mid-afternoon and letting your child swim, nap, eat and just refresh and then go back to the park later in the day. That's what our family normally does. So I just want to start off by saying this, um, definitely making sure that you are getting enough rest and enough food and just having some downtime definitely will help. But those meltdowns are going to happen. And one trick that I found actually a while back from another YouTube channel called The Neverland Family. Great channel. I'll leave their link below because they're really a cute, sweet family and they share lots of fun Disney content. But what they did was something called Tinkerbell in a Hotel. So basically what they do is they bring a Tinkerbell like Barbie doll or it could be a stuffed Tinkerbell or it could be what I'm currently using. This little Tinkerbell figurine works just fine. She's really tiny so I can fit her easily in my bag but we have also used the Tinkerbell dolls in the past. And you bring Tinkerbell with you to your resort and if your kids are very well behaved and don't have any crazy meltdowns during the day, Tinkerbell will bring them a small trinket, a little toy or gift at night when they go to sleep. So, so we are checking out of the all-star movies and headed over to the Magic Kingdom. And I just wanted to let you guys know about the Tinkerbell in the hotel. So if you didn't know what the Tinkerbell in the hotel is, it's basically you get a new Tinkerbell doll, stuffed animal, and then you set it up in your room. And if you were good, they bring you a gift. And my gift for this morning was this donut backpack. That she's going to bring to the parks today. And it also matches with the magic band. And it band. does match her magic band with the donut theme. So that is Tinkerbell in a hotel. This is day one with Tinkerbell. We'll see how the week goes. Right? So oftentimes Tinkerbell will come into the room at night. <laughs> She's already in the room, but she will appear somewhere in the room with a small gift. And sometimes there's even pixie dust sprinkled around her, which is really, really fun. So it's usually things that are very inexpensive. It's nothing crazy. Maybe some toys from the dollar store, maybe candy. It could be um, a stuffed toy that you have pre-purchased because Oftentimes, the Disney souvenirs can be very expensive, and at home, you can buy a lot of Disney merchandise very inexpensively, especially if you're shopping throughout the year, and you can hit some sales. Sometimes you can get a really nice stuffed animal for only maybe $5, and it's just a lot of fun to have Tinkerbell show up every night with a little gift. It's something that your children will look forward to every single day, so much so that they do not want to miss behave because they want to make sure that Tinkerbell is going to come. So that's been my experience anyway. It's been so helpful on so many of our trips. It's become kind of a tradition now and my kids really look forward to it. They're getting a little bit too old for it now. They've really milked this for quite some time. <laughs> and we did Tinkerbell in the hotel again this year. If you guys watched my previous vlogs from other vacations, you bring a little Tinkerbell and then she brings gifts for the kids every day, just little trinkets and things. So we're gonna put her away now though, because we're leaving. And just to show you the types of gifts that our one-winged Tinkerbell <laughs> brought, Emily has this little luggage tag, really cute. And then Madison has this little squishy with a little chapstick on it that I think she's gonna put on her backpack for today. Is that what you're gonna do? You have your girl's trip shirt on. We're wearing our matching shirts for our final day so we can get a picture in front of the castle. All right, let's get ready to go. But definitely, if you have young children 
and you want to incorporate this idea into your next Disney vacation, I think it's really going to help you out more than you know, because you're going to end up buying stuff for your kids anyway, right? Like, let's be real, you're gonna end up buying them something. And by pre-purchasing things, you're saving money on souvenirs. And by having Tinkerbell show up every night, you are really encouraging your children to be on their best behavior every day. So if they do feel like they are going to be falling apart, they will be thinking in the back of their mind, if I continue to behave this way, Tinkerbell may not come tonight and that will be incredibly disappointing. And maybe there is going to be a night or two that she does not show up because, you know, the day did not go as well as planned. And that's perfectly all right too. But the idea is to give them that extra push to try to work harder on their behavior because even as an adult, it's not always easy to be on your best behavior in Disney. <laughs> when you get tired and cranky, it can be a challenge. So I think this is a great tactic to use. Please let me know in the comments below if you guys have ever used anything like this on your Disney vacations. And if you have any questions or would like for me to help you plan your upcoming trip, please just shoot me an email or comment down below. There's plenty of ways that you can get in touch with me. You can find me on Instagram and on Facebook. It's Mickey World Travel Jen Brennan on Facebook and Jen Brennan Mickey World Travel on Instagram. And I also just recently started playing around with TikTok. So I'm really not sure where I'm going with that, but you can see what I've done thus far, and that is Jen's Mickey World. Thank you so much for watching today. If you're not a subscriber, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I have a lot of Disney content coming your way very soon. We're traveling to Disney this summer, so I will have a lot of fun vlogs and more informational videos to share with you guys. And also go ahead and hit that bell notification so that you can actually get updates every time I do post a video. Make sure that you guys go ahead and check out the coordinating blog post down below. And I will see you all really soon. Take care. Bye.